I didn't realize how excruciatingly painful it was going to be to slow my pace down. Life got so much easier. The end of the day got so much easier. I hope you can feel empowered to quit something. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you 45 things that I quit in order to simplify my life. I've been excited to share this with you because of how much fun it was to create this list and to reflect back on how much I've changed. And I want you guys to feel the freedom that I feel too. The, the freedom that I don't have to hold on to these things so tightly. I've just been able to let go. And I was just laughing at myself. I'm like, I can't believe who you are. Not that it was all my doing, but it took a lot of hard work. So I hope you can take one, two, a few of these, they're simple, they're easy, but I want you guys to feel the way I feel. No more stress, no more chaos, no more pressures or expectations. I'm just living the life that I know I'm supposed to be living and doing so in the present. So enough chatter, let's just dive right into this list. Number one, I quit saying yes all the time. Chronic people pleaser, it was hard for me to do this but I learned how to properly communicate and honestly communicate what I needed. And I didn't lose any friendships or any trust or anything. I just needed to start communicating honestly and people actually started respecting me more for it. So I had to quit saying yes all the time and learn how to say no thank you. Number two, gossip. I had to quit this. What I realized is that gossip filled all these empty spaces in my life, whether it was like in a conversation, in a time of need, needing to put someone else down, but it just lowered my mood every single time. I mean, gossip is a very low vibration <laughs> frequency, and I sound so hippie when I say that, but we run off of frequencies, our human bodies do, and gossip and negative speech are like way down. So it legitimately does make you feel bad. I needed to let go of that so badly. Number three is grocery shopping without a plan. I saved so much money when I stopped doing that. Number four, complex meals. I had this pressure in my head to have a delicious, savory, different, unique meal every single night. Once I gave that up, life got so much easier. The end of the day got so much easier. An example of what we eat probably four, five, six, sometimes seven times a week is ground beef. We can make it ground beef, burgers, meatballs, and then some type of like rice or potato. And then on the side we have a smoothie with some fruit in it, some greens if we need it, and absolutely some collagen. We always like collagen with our muscle meats. Balances the amino acid profile. And we all feel good and it's easy and it's yummy. And the pressure's off all of us to have this expectation around food. Like let's just eat what we need to eat, what we can afford and what tastes good. Number five, this is an interesting one because I kind of am this, but blindly trusting influencers. That added so much clutter into my life, like physical clutter of things I would buy from them, but also this narrative in my head that was like, you're not good enough, or you gotta do this cause she's doing that. I needed to let that go. And since doing that, I feel really free. Like I am my own person. And I know that like you're listening to me right now, but there are people that I listen to and I trust. So I guess just pick wisely. I don't know what that says about you watching me right now, but I'm grateful that you're here. Really am. I try to be as honest as possible. Number six, worrying and depending on other people's opinions of me. This, this feels really nice to have gone. It took a while, honestly. The whole simple living lifestyle led to me being able to let this go. And I mean, I even have some mean comments on my YouTube channel now and I, I genuinely am just like, that is fine. You can think that even though it's not true, you can say that even though it's not true, but I'm like, you never know what kind of day they're having. Let's have some perspective. I don't really need to put my energy and my time into that. So just I had to quit worrying about what people were thinking. Number seven, this is more of a practical one, but I got rid of my water filters, water filter pitchers and dispensers, the ones where you had to refill them all the time. And I got an under the sink water filter from Epic Water Filters and it has changed the game. I cook almost every meal from home. So I was using this little dispenser to fill up my oats, to soak the water, to dump the water. And I was like, this is painful. So now I'm gonna have to wait another like 15 minutes to completely fill this up for the water to filter back through. Like it was just, I loved them. They were great for a time, but this whole under the sink thing 
has absolutely changed the game. Like we can just turn our faucet on, put our cup underneath and drink the water straight. Like it's nice. Number eight, simple. Overpacking my diaper bag and or my purse just makes my life more complex and complicated and it's heavier. That's enough for me to just be like, nah, don't do that anymore. Number nine is unhealthy morning habits. Specifically, starting my day, I scrolling on my phone. Never helped. When I keep my phone in its home, my life, my morning, my morning is just simpler. It's more focused. My day is better. Everything seems simpler and it's flowing and I like my morning routine. When I open my phone, it is ruined. Number 10, number 10, unplanned purchasing and buying. Kind of speaks for himself, but it makes your life so much simpler when you have a list of things that you need to get and you wait till the time is right until you purchase them. You'll also save so much money because you guys know the story about Target and how everyone walks out of Target with more than they need. Well, I got fed up with that and so did my husband and we were just like, okay, let's just plan everything we need to buy now. And it just made life so much easier. Uh, number 11, winning people over. I desperately needed to just let that go and let people think what they wanted to think. I can't change everyone. I can't make everyone like me. You gotta have the courage to be disliked. I read that book, changed my life. So yeah, letting people not like me. So I had to quit trying to win people over all the time. Number 12, over consuming info. I had to quit over consuming information. It just stressed me out. Too many thoughts. Like our brains can only handle so much until we get to the stress state. I had to quit that. 13, pushing myself too hard in the gym. Pretty self-explanatory, but it burnt me out physically and emotionally. 14, feeling empty space in my home. I had this pressure to make sure that every wall, every corner was decorated and was purposeful, but now I'm just like, what is the point? Don't worry about it right now. There are more important things to worry about, like feeding my children food and water. <laughs> That's just for me. It's not for anyone, everyone, but just taking the pressure off of myself for having a home that looks perfectly curated. It just, yeah, I needed to take that pressure off myself. Need to quit. Need to quit. 15, sleeping with my phone in my room. Easy one. Do that tonight. Plug it in in your bathroom. That's where we plug in ours. 16, I had to quit toxic beauty. Let me tell you how this made my life easier. When you only have a certain brand that you trust, for me, it's mainly Araza Beauty. I love their products. I love their makeup. I also use Beauty Counter on the side. I also use tallow a bunch, but it just makes life easier. You have smaller options, simplified, and you know exactly what you're looking for. You trust the people. It's just, it's an easier purchase. I have all Araza on today. It just, it's natural. I don't see myself ever using anything different because I just love feeling clean, fresh, knowing that like it's coconut on my face and not toxic chemicals. I love that. Number 17, I quit living life without knowing my purpose in life. I didn't have one till I was probably 26, 27. I'm 29 now for reference. And just knowing my purpose, it helps everything else line into place in my life. Friendships, how I spend my days, what I spend my energy doing, how I pick myself up after hard days. You gotta know your purpose and you just gotta keep it with you day in and day out. If you wanna know my purpose, you can ask me below. I'd be happy to let you know, but I don't wanna shove it on someone because I kinda want you to like figure it out for yourself. I think that's beautiful. 18, going out to eat. Had to quit that, very expensive. Got me out of my routine of like, knowing what I gotta do to cook dinner every single night. Just every now and then, totally, but needed to quit that. 19, cluttered phone. This includes apps. And my notifications always being on. And a simpler phone is a simpler life. I still need to do that video of my minimal iPhone because it's pretty nice. Number 20, I just wrote the word engaging. <laughs> I feel like I just had this pressure to always be engaged emotionally with people. I'm a very empathetic person. This could be pretty deep, but I just had to let people share things without them just like sticking to me, you know? Share your opinion that I don't agree with. Ugh, and I'd be so offended and hurt. But now I'm just like, and I really think it's my decluttering and my simple living practices for the last few years, but I'm just able to let that stuff go. And 
let it bounce back off of me instead of like feeling everything that everyone says and does. Yeah. It's kind of like being undefendable. Been reflecting on that a lot lately. 21. Had to quit answering the phone immediately. If there is an emergency, people know to call me twice. People in my circle, they know to call me twice. 22. Staying inside all day. It ruins my life. <laughs> I get outside as much as I can, whenever I can with my babies. Makes life so much better and you just breathe easy. You remember the good things. It simplifies, it slows everything down. 23. I quit following people on social media. That made me feel less. 24. Wearing shoes in the house. It's an easy thing to switch up. We got a little shoe cubby. We know where all of our shoes are. We never lose them. The dirt and the toxic chemicals. Stay outside the home. Love that. Number 25. And this is something I really struggled with. Holding my husband to an incredibly high standard. I'm not perfect. Why should I expect him to be perfect? And as soon as that kind of switched, it wasn't this automatic thing. It was like this slow climb over the last seven years. Life is so much better with him. Cause I'm just like, yeah, you're allowed to mess up. You're also allowed to take me off. We're both broken. We're gonna do that to each other. Everything just got better after that. 26, mirrors. I only have obviously our bathroom mirrors and then one other mirror in our home. Didn't need that stuff cluttering up my mind and my mental space, telling me I'm not this, I need to do this better. Simplified my life, very happy. And I guess I've done that for like four years now. It's just good. It's so much healthier. 27, leaving all of our laundry for the weekend. Needed to quit that and it took me way too long, but thank you to you guys, whoever, wherever you are. A lot of you told me a few videos back your laundry tips and I am forever grateful. They have changed my life. <laughs> Number 28, this could be controversial. Cleaning as you go. I had to quit that. If I did that with our two little boys in our small living space, I'd be cleaning literally all day long. We have certain times in the day where we do our chores, pretty much morning and then right before dinner, and then after dinner, if mama needs to do some extra cleaning. But woo, did that just stress me out all the time. I was like, I can't keep up, obviously. You're not supposed to. <laughs> On the subject of children, number 29, buying toys. I got rid of 90% of my kids' toys and they are so much more creative. They have so much more fun, they fight less. I'm gonna do a whole video on that because it has changed our family dynamic. So more on that, 30. Pretty simple one, but I had to quit staying up late. Made my life harder. And when I'm stressed in the morning, nothing seems simple. Everything seems harder. 31, I quit buying cheap furniture. We have a couch in the living room. We could have bought a pretty cheap couch, but I just want something that's gonna last, that's high quality, that's not sprayed in formaldehyde. And it was a lot more expensive, but I trust it's gonna last us so much longer. And it's nice to sleep on it for my kids to jump on it and I know it's safe. Like I'm not worried about what it's spewing into our air. This is a really interesting one when I figured it out, but I had to quit buying out of season produce. It never tasted good, such a waste of money. And cooking and eating and enjoying food is so much more beautiful and simplified when you go by the seasons. Yeah, that's it, that's all. It's just, it's nice and yummier, definitely yummier. 33, I quit trying to plan stuff in my head. All you have to do is write it out and your life is so much easier. Took me a very long time to figure that out. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Tate. Number 34, over stressing about food. Had to quit that. Went on this super mega health kick. I, I mean, I consider myself a pretty healthy person, but it's so much more than stressing out about food. I wasted so much energy, so much quality time with people. <sighs> Just stressing out about, I can't eat that. It's not good for me. Like I try to eat as clean as I can when we're out to dinner. I'm gonna eat the bread, okay? I'm gonna eat those chips as well. 35, had to quit negative self-talk. This, I'm so glad it's mainstream. It's just so much easier to do this when you're following people who tell you to stop talking bad about yourself all the time. That's what I'm telling you. Like these influencers, there are some that just make you wanna talk bad about yourself. But there are some that are like, hey, they're unique. I love she's real, I love she's honest, and it's encouraging me to do the same. Like, that is where the good stuff is, when you find people like that in your corner. Number 36, I had to quit setting unrealistic goals for myself. Made life harder. <laughs> Emotionally, physically, 
spiritually, just simplify your goals and life will seem simpler. Number 37 is walking fast. I talk about this a lot because of how much it changed my life. I was a chronic fast paced walker, whether it was just going on a walk outside, walking with my kids, walking to the grocery store. Expecting perfection from children and pretty much everyone else in general. It's just a waste of a lot of things. Energy, time, conversation, poor conversation. Here's what I'll say. Life just seems better and simpler as the relationships when you just expect them to mess up because odds are you're gonna mess up too. I do all the time. Number 40, I had to quit knowing the answer. <laughs> Maybe blame it on the year of 2020, but uh, I thought I knew everything. Oh, I was so smart. I was so opinionated and I wasn't, I wasn't happy. I was just stressed all the time because I was like, why don't you people believe what I believe? And I need to tell you that you're wrong. Yikes. It was so unhealthy and such a waste of a lot of things. So I had to give that up. Feels really nice just to let people say what they want to say and totally be okay with it. If I want them to listen to me, I should listen to them. Number 41, I had to quit buying clothes outside of my color palette. It turns out I would never wear them because I have a minimal wardrobe. I want everything to go with everything so that I have more options. Makes life easier, makes getting dressed in the morning so much simpler. Find your color palette. Number 42. I had to quit believing that life would be easier with a jumbo pack of pens. It's not. You have to keep track of a jumbo pack of pens now. It's easier just to get the four pack and have a home for those four pens and just to always put them back in their home when you're done with them. So much simpler. You do not need to get more. It doesn't make life easier. Number 43, blind supplementing. I had to quit that. A lot of money. A lot of money gone. <laughs> Uh, now, how I do this is I have like four companies, small companies, online, ones where you can only buy online. I like these people, I trust, I trust them, I've come to the same conclusions that they have, and every time they come out with a product or anytime I need something, I just go to these main people. I stop listening to what everyone else is saying, what the trendy thing is, I just go to what works for me. and. I love that these small companies also have so much research on their website. Like that's what we should be reading more than just listening to influencers tell us that we need something. I mean, anytime I tell you guys what I'm using, it's because I've used this company for years. I just got to 70K on YouTube. I didn't have any affiliates. I had to use my own things to prove to them and film content with them to prove that I could be an affiliate for them. That's how seriously I take these affiliates. I'm like, I'm not telling them anything unless I use it myself. So you're, you're in good hands, I promise. Two more. 44, expecting consistency. I had to quit this. I wish I could be that person that wakes up and has the most aesthetic, beautiful morning routine, but some days I just can't get out of bed. Some days I can and everything is great, but you know when you have two kids and you're pregnant with your third, life happens, right? I think it's great to have solid routines that you can lean on when you wake up like that some days, but expecting that perfect consistency, I had to quit that. Life got easier, turn those expectations way down and it's just, life is good when I don't have those expectations and pressures. Last one, 45, taking things out of my car the day they go in them. I had an issue. Most of my family can attest to this with a messy car and with two kids, it's kind of hard. But when I got pregnant with my third, I was like, children, we are making a shift. Whatever you bring into this car, we are bringing out. And I just kept verbalizing that over and over and over. Now it's our norm. Now my car is clean. And I utilize the vacuums at those vacuum car washes. So nice. I'm out of breath. Thank you for staying till the end. If you have, I will link a lot of the products that I've talked about that I trust and love down below if you're interested. 
I hope you can feel empowered to quit something today. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.